Here's an SAT math trick you can use to save a ton of time on the SAT. If you see you have an equation like the one given above set equal to a bunch of different variables, in this case, it's M being set equal to R, N, and P, then what you can do is if you look down and on your answer choices, you have one of those variables, in this case, P, set equal to all the others in every answer choice, then all you have to do is rearrange and solve for P. So that's the first trick. The second trick is if you see you have one variable set equal to a fraction times the other variable, if you have to solve for the other variable, which in this case is P, all you got to do is flip the fraction and move it to the other side. So this denominator becomes the numerator by M and the numerator becomes the denominator by M. Thus, we know our answer is going to have to have 1 plus R over 12,000 N minus 1 on top. We take a look and find the only answer choice that has that. That's going to be B. B will be our correct answer. The big advantage to using these two tips and tricks is you don't have to read any of this, which saves you time. And then also, it's a real easy switch to go ahead and flip this denominator to the numerator and the numerator to the denominator.